I was just um, working on this shock and it kind of really illustrates the benefits of um, needle roller bearings of conventional D's. At the moment that's a conventional DU bushing and moving. If we flip it around I'll show you the needle roller in action. And that's the difference. What happens is whenever you hit a small bump, you have to get that bushing, bearing, whatever, moving. Um, and it takes a certain amount of force. With the needle roller, it takes a lot less force to get that moving. If you have a look at your suspension, you'll see that for the shock to move up and down, forward, backward, it will have to rotate uh, on, on the pivot link at the same time so the easier it rotates on that pivot link the easier it can handle small bumps especially large bumps doesn't matter you've already got the thing moving you're giving it a big hit but for small bumps the easier that um, pivot moves the more compliant your suspension will be regardless of how much weight you have um, how much air you have in it whatever